Oh, what's going on guys, uh, Grax here, and I am back once again for the Little Cup tourney in the Elysian UCL. Today I'm going to jump in about a discussion uh, that I've had to have um, with you guys about the League. Now, you guys didn't know because I only found out recently... Oh my god, whoops. Um, <laughs> fuck's sake, drop something. But, uh, it turns out that every week after a battle, up until week 3... You have to swap out one mon from each tier. Now, I was very, very against this just because I feel like... I, I don't want to, you know? I, I don't feel like it should be forced, but... You know, this is for fun, and this is all just a test to see if the Little Cup can work out. I'd be talking to Joey about it, and I'd feel a little more confident about it. And we've come to the agreement that after week three, it should be optional, because... Like, say you're going into the finals, and you have a really, really good team matchup, and then you have to change the teams, and he or she gets a Pokemon that just wrecks you and then, you know, you lose just because you can't deal with that Mon and, you know, that's a little bit unfortunate and because it's optional, if you don't like a Mon on your team, you can change it, you know? Um, so you had to choose one Mon from each tier and like I said, there are three tiers, so three Pokemon were swapped out and as you can see here, uh, you have Drifting, Bergmite, Meter, and Mail, Tibopotas, Tentacool, and Trico. Um, I'll explain why their order has relevance in a second, but, uh, if you guys are excited for more Little Cup news and uh, you're excited for our next week battle against Swishy, uh, which will be very, very fun, make sure to have some like button down below first. And with that being said, we jump in and talk about this. Now, I had to swap out one from each tier, one Mon from each tier. I chose Hippopotas, Tentacool, and Trico. I'll go into the reason why. Um, there's no right answer with this. If you come back and look, these, this is, this was our team. This is our team week one. Aaron was our captain, so I put him first. But our team, well, tier ones were Fletchling, Hippopotas, and Snivy. And I love Fletchling. I really like Fletchling. And I really like Snivy. I thought Snivy would have been good just because it would be cool to use. Like, I know how good Superior can be. Let's see if Snivy can do the same work. So I wanted to keep Snivy. Um, but I love Hippopotas as well. Hippopotas is a great defensive wall. But... After playing week one, I've decided... Because there's no right answer here. Fletchling is great, Snivy is great, Hippopotas is great. There's no right answer to who I should get rid of. But I decided, you know what? I'm going to play a certain style. I'm going to play offensively this season. And if I'm going to do that, I can't be bringing three defensive Pokemon like I did in the main league. Which is why, in this week's battle, if you missed it, I brought one defensive Mon and Piplop. And even then... I was debating on whether I should bring two, but I was like, you know what, let's chance it, let's go with one, let's see what happens, and it worked out, you know? It, it, spoilers. Uh, <laughs> you know, we won 3-0 with one defensive Pokemon, that Pokemon didn't actually need to do anything, it just came in, took a hit, and then swapped back out, you know, it was perfect, you know, it was great. And I thought that worked really, really well for us, I, I played a lot better than I thought I would uh, in competitive style, so I decided to drop Hippo Patas, really, really sucks, but, um, you know... I, I, Joey actually, I believe, actually I have the thing here, uh, yes, Joey got hit up a toss, which sucks, but, uh, it's whatever, it's whatever, um, so we drop hit up a toss, uh, next I dropped Tentacool, now Tentacool for the same reasons I dropped hit up a toss, um, it's, it's not really a defensive mon, but it can't really do anything else, it's a great special defensive mon here, you see 100 base special defense, which is insane, with Eviolite, that, that'll hit, uh, 30 base, I'm pretty sure. Let, let's check this out. Yeah, it'll hit 30 from Eviolite, which is insane. And then its HP will max at 23. That, that's crazy. But, it gets Rapid Spin. It is a really, really good offensive move pool, but it's just, its attack and its special attack are just way too low. 40 and 50 on a Mon that we can't run Life Orb on, you know? And it got Rapid Spin and Toxic Spike, which was pretty cool, and it got Skull, the best move in the game. But I didn't feel like it was good enough. And again, for the same reasons I said, Hippopotas was a defensive Pokemon. Tentacool, I feel like, would be used in the same vein. So I decided to drop Tentacool as well. And Trico, I dropped Trico because I didn't drop Snivy. Uh, so I needed a Grass type. And I don't want to drop Helioptile because I really like Helioptile. Because I dropped Tentacool, I couldn't drop Piplup. Even though I didn't want to at all. I think Piplup's great. Uh, I wanted to keep Piplup for defog and uh, for defense purposes. And I think Piplup actually does Hippopotas' and Tentacool's job. Uh, being a defensive Pokemon that keeps rocks off the field and stuff like that. So, Trico had to be dropped. So, in return for Hippopotas, we got Drifloon. Now, Drifloon is a very, very interesting Pokemon. I don't really know what it does. 
uh, if I'm perfectly honest. You see his stats here, base 90 HP, which is actually pretty insane. Um, it's 27. Uh, base 60 speed, sorry, base 70 speed, base 60 special attack, really, really good, uh, honestly. I, I like Drifloon, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it to the capacity that I think people will hope I will be able to. Um, you know, I, I think I can use it well, but it'll be interesting. See, you see right here, Flare Boost, um, or Flare Boost, I should say. While this Pokemon is burned, its special attacks have 1.5x power, so... Uh, that means that Shadow Ball, if I'm burned, will do a lot more. Obviously, Hidden Power will do a lot more if I'm burned. Also, gets a bit Calm Mind and Baton Pass, uh, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot, and I think it, it will be good. It actually has really, really good type uh, pairing with Aaron. So Aaron is weak to fighting in the ground four times. Drifloon is immune to both of those. Drifloon is weak to ice and rock, uh, and then Aaron resists those. So there's a little bit of synergy there. Um, so I like that, but uh, I feel like the, the idea of this was to just keep dropping these three mons every single week until week three, until we feel like we want to drop any more. Even though I actually really, really like the three mons that we got, but it is what it is. Uh, next we have Bergmite, which is so funny. I drop a Rapid Spinner, and I get a Rapid Spinner. Bergmite uh, is really, really cool. I like Bergmite. You see, its uh, HP is actually pretty decent. Um, hits 25. And it's special attack, uh, sorry, special defense is okay because it's little cup and everything doesn't hit as hard. If you realize that'll hit 21 and it's uh, defense will hit uh, 22, uh, which is really, really good. I actually really like Bergmite. It also gets avalanche and stuff, gets flash cannon for if I'm on special for any reason. It gets recover, so uh, I do I do really like Bergmite. I think it's... Uh, pretty decent for what we could have gotten in tier 2 there are a lot of bad mons in tier 2 but I think we got it with one of the better ones um, and I think Bergmite will do very very well if I bring it and I might even bring it against Swishy who knows uh, but actually Bergmite is one of the mons I'm like I really want to keep you you know I really want really to keep Bergmite and I like I said I wanted to keep dropping the same mons every single week and just drop the mon that it gets replaced by but Bergmite might, might be a mon that I have to keep you know and finally we have Neater and Mail uh, also uh, it's okay, you know, it gets a Drill Run, which is pretty awesome, Poison Jab. With Hustle, I think he has a little more uh, viability, but, you know, 57 attack, I believe, um, isn't Hustle makes it 1.5, let me check. Attack's 1.5, so that attacks that will actually hit um, 24. And then if we choice bandit, it'll hit 36, so... Yeah, it hits really, really hard, but like, let's be honest. Like, with, my, with my luck, I'm gonna miss every single one, you know? <laughs> I'm, I I really don't like Hustle. I, I feel like I might even, if I do bring Nidoran, I just run Poison Point. I'm, like, I'm gonna be very, very honest. Uh, I don't trust my luck to carry me all the way through, but we'll see what happens with it. I think Nidoran Mail is a pretty cool Pokemon with Hustle and stuff, like I said. Uh, with Choice Band and Hustle, especially with Hustle, it's, its attack is pretty darn scary, but I don't think, uh, I'm like, 1.8. That means Poison Jab will have the same accuracy as Stone Edge. Stone Edge, you know? And Stone Edge's accuracy will be 64. I am never landing Stone Edge, okay? I don't like it, but you know what? I feel like if we get lucky, it can be very, very good. I mean, obviously, um... 80% of the time is still in our favor, but let's be honest. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, team analysis there. I hope you guys agree with what I dropped. If you guys don't and you think I should drop something else, make sure to leave your opinion down below. I'm open to suggestions. And maybe next time, maybe I'll keep Drifloon, Bergmite, or Nidor and Mail, and maybe swap something else if you think so. But I'm probably going to keep a few of the mons that I really, really like. I'm going to keep Aaron, obviously, because he's the captain. I'm going to keep Fletchling, Helioptile, and Snivy pretty sure until the end, just because Snivy and Helioptile for nostalgia purposes, because I, I drafted Agron, Superior, and Helio Heliolisk in... Did I say Heliolisk instead of Helioptile? I drafted those three for the main league, and then I get Snivy, Helioptile, and Aaron in the, the lower league. One of them I chose, but come on, that's pretty cool. I'll probably keep those four, uh, including Fletchling. Then Riolu will probably keep. Binnacle is pretty cool. I want to keep that. Piplup, I think, is staying till the end. I really like Piplup. So, I won't put your suggestions. What you guys think I should drop and keep and stuff. Uh, I think it's definitely a hard choice. Because, lo like, looking at everyone else's team, actually. Um, there's no really right answer to who people should drop. 
uh, because like it's it's just everyone's team is so good. You see my team here. Like I really really like it. Then I, Zach's team is really good. We replaced. I uh, got rid of uh, Goldine, which I think was not a good idea. I think Goldine's actually good, but out of the mods he could have dropped, I actually agree with him. Uh, I think Spinarak is tier two. Spinarak is just good for you know support and stuff. Uh, Ponyta is pretty decent. Jay's team I actually really really like. He's been giving out about it, but I think his team is amazing. Uh, Munchlax, Ammonite, Diglett, Drillbur, Dratini. You know, Adorix team is really nice. You know, I think everyone will have problems and will have uh, issues figuring out who to drop. But I think uh, it is worth it. And if you look at the kills rating here, your boy Fletchling is number one. We got four kills against Zach. If you didn't see, we killed the Pancham. And then we came in at the end and killed the Abra, the Shelder, and the Teddy Ursa one after another, which was pretty insane. So if you guys are excited for more Little Cup Tournament and you guys are proud members of the Agro Knights, make sure to have some like one down below for us. And with that being said, I am out of here. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye!